Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, we'll try to find out the integral of 2x plus 3 into square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6. The given integral is in the form of integral of px plus q multiplied with square root of ax square plus bx plus c. To solve this problem, we have to write px plus q in terms of constant term into derivative of ax square plus bx plus c plus b so that we can divide the given integral into two parts. One will have derivative derivative of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 here and then the other one will come into standard form which can be converted into either square root of x square minus a square or x square plus a square. So let's go ahead first try to can find out the values of a and b. For that we will write down 2x plus 3 is equal to a into derivative of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 plus b. We know derivative of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 is 8x plus 5 plus b is equal to 2x plus 3. Now let us compare the coefficients of x term. We will get 2 equal to 8a and we compare the coefficients or constant terms we get 3 equal to 5a plus b. From the first one we know a equal to 1 by 4 and substituting that in the second we have 3 equal to 5 into 1 by 4 plus b or simplify b equal to 3 minus 5 by 4 which is equal to 7 by 4. So we got the value of a as 1 by 4 and the value of b as 7 by 4 and the derivative of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 is 8x plus 5. So 2x plus 3 can be written as 1 by 4 into 8x plus 5 plus 7 by 4. Now we will go ahead and substitute that in the given problem and try to simplify that. So the given problem can be written as integral of 1 by 4 8 integral of 8x plus 5 into derivative of 8x plus 5 is derivative of 4x plus 5x plus 6 that we have to multiply with square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 plus b equal to 7 by 4. So 7 by 4 integral of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 under root. Now if we look at the first part of the problem we see that this is if you take 4x square plus 5x plus 6 as t then we have root t dt. So 1 by 4 integral of dt root t dt then plus 7 by 4. We can take 4 out so we will get 2 outside and we will have square root of x square plus 5x by 4 plus 6 by 4 which is equal to 3 by 2. Now we can do this two problems separately taking this as i1 and this is i2. First let's work on i1. i1 is 1 by 4 root t dt which is equal to 1 by 4 into integral of t power 1 by 2 is t power 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 1 by 4 t power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 which is equal to 1 by 4 into 2 by 3 into t power 3 by 2. Now simplify that we will get 1 by 6 t power 3 by 2 that is nothing but 4x square plus 5x 
plus 6 whole to the power of 3 by 2 that is our i1 now let's work on the i2 part i2 is 7 by 2 into square root of x square plus 5x plus 4 plus 3 by 2 now we will try to leverage completing the squares and try to convert this into one of the standard form so here we have our b is equal to 5 by 8 half of middle term that is half of 5 by 4 5 by 8 so that means i have to write x square plus 5x by 4 to complete the square i have to add 5 by 8 whole square which i will subtract so that the expression remains balanced then we have to add 3 by 2 so let us simplify that this will be equal to 7 by 2 integral we have dx here let's not forget that this will be square root of x plus 5 by 8 whole square plus 3 by 2 minus 25 by 64 we'll do that calculation 3 by 2 minus 25 by 64 we can take 64 as lcm we'll get 96 minus 25 which is equal to 71 by 64 so we can write this as 7 by 2 integral x plus 5 by 8 whole square plus root 71 by 8 whole square this is our i2 what we need to integrate now so let's move to the next step now i2 is in the standard form of square root of x square plus a square so let us see what is the integral of that integral of square root of x square plus a square equal to x by 2 square root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log of x plus root of x square plus a square now let us write our i2 in this particular format so our next step will be this is equal to 7 by 2 will be outside then we have x x is x plus 5 by 8 divided by 2 into square root of x square plus a square that is x plus 5 by 8 whole square plus root 71 by 8 whole square plus a square by 2 a is root 7 by 8 so a square is 71 by 64 into 1 by 2 into log we have x plus root of x square plus a square that is x plus 5 by 8 plus root of x square plus 5x by 4 whatever we got here when we simplified when we actually go back and again write it x square plus 5x by 4 plus 3 by 2 so that only we will write down here 3 by 2 plus c now let us simplify this this will be 7 by 2 into 2 7 by 4 into when you take lcm we will have 8x plus 5 divided by 8 into square root of this is nothing but x square plus 5x by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus let's multiply this we have 7 into 71 497 divided by 2 into 64 into 2 that is 256 log of x plus 5 by 8 we can leave it as like that or you can write it as 8x plus 5 by 8 plus square root of x square plus 5x by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus c now this is our i1 and i2 let us add now i1 plus i2 and let us see what we will get our final answer is i1 plus i2 so let's write down that we'll write down i1 plus i2 that is nothing but integral of 2x plus 3 into square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to i1 plus i2 
we found out both the values so let us simplify that add them and simplify what is our i1 that is 1 by 6 into 4x square plus 5x plus 6 into 4x square plus 5x plus 6 whole to the power of 1 by 2 or can I write it as root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 now let's come to the i2 part when I want to club this and this we know that if I multiply this with 4 inside then we will have square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 then we can add these two terms comfortably so let's go ahead and do that we will write it as 7 by 32 so into 8x plus 5 into square root of if I multiply everything inside 2 I have to divide with 2 so this will become now 4x square plus 5x plus 6 now you can see that we can take root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 common and we can simplify that let's go to the next step and before that what is the last step last term we have to write that is 497 divided by 256 log of x plus 5 by 8 plus square root of x square plus 5x by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus c now only the thing left out is we need to simplify these two terms this term is final only these two we have to simplify so let's go ahead and simplify we can take root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 common so let me write down that square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 is common then we have 4x square plus 5x plus 6 divided by 6 plus 7 by 64 into 8x plus 5 and this will be closing after that we have 497 divided by 256 this term will not change because this is already finalized we know that what we will have there x plus 5 by 8 plus square root of x square plus 5x by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus c as it is whatever we have here same term comes we are not touching this this is already finalized we are only working on these two to be simplified so let us simplify this we will have root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 we'll take lcm we will have 6 and 64 we can take lcm as 192 192 will go in 6 32 times so this will be 32 into 4 128 x square 32 into 5 160 x 32 into 6 192 plus 192 will 64 threes are 192 so 3 into 7 21 21 into 8 168 x plus 21 into 5 105 plus whatever the term we have earlier the same term continues here also only this term we will simplify and we will write it as square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 divided by 192 and let us simplify here we will have 128x square plus 328x plus 297 plus whatever we have written earlier which is 497 divided by 256 and log of x plus 5 by 8 plus square root of x square plus 5x by 4 plus 3 by 2 whatever we have written here same thing continues in all steps moving forward because this is final we are not touching this we are only simplifying these two terms taking root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 is common that's what we are doing we are taking this term common then it is simplified to the last term and this is remains as it is so integral of 2x plus 3 into square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 1 by 192 into 128x square plus 328x plus 297 into square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6 plus 
497 divided by 256 multiplied with log of x plus 5 by 8 plus square root of x square plus 5x plus 4 by 3 by 2. So these steps may be I can simply cancel them here and uh, so that there is no confusion I will just ask you take it from whatever we have here so that it looks little bit neat let's erase this part okay once we do that what I mean to say is the same term comes here same term comes here and the same term comes here whatever we have so that term is fixed so that is the integral of 2x plus 3 into square root of 4x square plus 5x plus 6. Thank you.